Hey Bears, it's Friday, October 14th, and you're watching Disney Channel. Wait, what? sorry, sorry. It's Friday, October 14th, and this is CNN 10. Okay, wait, oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> it's Friday, October 14th, and welcome to The, the View TV. TV. I'm Rand. And I'm Mary Ellie, when we'll be hosting the show today. We'll have announcements, entertainment, sports updates, and a look at what's going on in our Bear community. The View starts now. Greetings, Bears. This is Miss Stewart, your principal. I am so excited to get to know you. Uh, over the past few weeks, I've met many of you, and I look forward to meeting you if I've not met you yet. I am super proud of the great work I see here at Mountain View from our staff to our students, and I want to brag on one thing in particular. I was so proud and excited to see the great school spirit and the wonderful behavior at our pep rally and at our homecoming events. Thank you for representing Mountain View so well and for showing great school spirit. I also want to invite you to be a part of the Principal's Advisory Committee. I'm putting together a, a, another student committee with the uh, hopes of hearing more of your voice. So if you're not involved in something like that already, I'd love to hear from you. I am looking for probably six to eight freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors to be a part of this Principal's Advisory Committee that would meet during advisement several times a year to help discuss issues with me and and I can come to you and ask your opinion on certain things. That would be very helpful if you're interested. Applications are posted on your eClass page. What you will need to do, it's a one-page application. You need to download it, print it, and turn a hard copy in to the front desk, please. Speaking of having a voice and getting your opinion, I want your opinion on our calendar options for next year. Right now, our district, Gwinnett County Public Schools, is getting input from lots of stakeholders, but you as a student have an important and uh, equally valuable voice in the matter. Doesn't matter to me which calendar we pick because I'm going to be here every day, but I know it does matter to you. So look at the four choices that are posted on your eClass page today. These are also posted on our district website. Under those, you will see a link where you will be redirected to our district website to something called a Qualtrics survey and that survey will allow you to vote on your first choice of calendar choices for next year. The district will make a final decision after input has been received through this survey. So it's really important if you have an opinion about the calendar and would like for your voice to be heard, please make sure that you vote. There are options with digital learning days, without digital learning days, uh, with longer holidays for fall break and shorter ones. Uh, so there are different give and take items on the calendar that you may be interested in viewing and giving your opinion on. That's all for this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to work hard, do your best. Remember, I believe in you. Have a great day and happy learning. We hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. Our ABTF students have lots in store for you today. The SAT word of the week is histrionic, meaning overly dramatic or emotional. Here's a skit our level twos made. Bad Habit by Steve Lacey. He's literally the love of my life. He's my boyfriend. I'm gonna have kids with him one day. He deserves Artist of the Year, Album of the Year. Like, I love him so much. I'm gonna go to that concert. I'm gonna pass this out. This is what you call histronic. Utah, Don't be like her. Be better. It's okay. Things have been for reasons that I think you're sure. Yeah. I wasn't even done singing. Did you see that cutoff? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> now let's go to Maya for announcements. Hi, I'm Amaya and I will be bringing you the announcements today. Today the Forensic Science Club will be hosting a meeting in Mrs. Zach's room E309 at 2.15 to 3 o'clock p.m. I think everyone should go because who doesn't love true crime? 
There is an upcoming 2023 Student Gwinnett Media Festival. If you would like to find out more information to participate, please see Mrs. Booker in room VBJ 1.340. Our Fall 2022 Blood Drive is back. Monday, October 17th and Tuesday, October 18th, sign-up passes during advisement will be given out or you can sign up during lunch. Some quick advice for the upcoming class, please make sure that you are meeting with your school counselors to determine what classes you need or what you need to do to keep your grades up to put yourself on the right track for college or just your future in general. To schedule an appointment, go on the MVHS counseling page. And remember, counselors aren't just there for academic purposes either. Well, Bears, that concludes the announcements for the week. Have a great day. Back to Rana Marielli. Thanks for the announcements, Amaya. You know, bartender broke up with... <laughs> Keep going, keep going. You know a bartender broke up with her boyfriend, but he kept asking her for another shot? Now let's go to Orville for a sports update. Hi, I'm Orville, and I'll be bringing you the sports announcement and updates for this week. In cross-country news, the team did well at the Talaluha Falls Invitational. The girls finished third, just shy of second place, and the boys finished second. PRs for this race were from Sophia Steelman, Jenny Hong, Caroline Ansley, Spencer Ansley, yes. Seth Hathaway, John Molina Chavez, Sebastian Mendez Frites, and Justin Turner, with a season best from Nate Ricks. With races coming up today at Roper Park and the 23rd at Horse Park. Congratulations to the varsity football team for the home game win on Thursday the 29th with a score of 29 to 7. Cheerleaders and student section did a great job bringing the energy. Go Bears! In softball news, they are now 11 and 2 overall and 3 and 8 in their region beating Central Gwinnett on the 26th, but losing to Buford and Decula. In volleyball news, Senior Night was on the 29th, dominating Duluth 3-1. They are now 15-15 and 3-3 and three and three in their region. That's it for sports today. Back to you. Thanks for the updates, Orville. Since we're on the topic of sports, let's check out a video I made for the football team. I wanted to thank everyone who helped me create that video, from the football team to my editing crew. And what about me? And to Rand, who's literally my favorite person in the room right now. Thank you all so much for your help. There'll be more videos coming soon. Of course, what would you do without me? <laughs> now let's check out what's happening in our community. Hi Mountain View, I'm Amaya. And Sabrina. And today we'll be going around asking people about their holiday, holiday foods. foods. As you can see, Amaya is Valentine's, Valentine's. And Sabrina is Halloween. Beetlejuice yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What holiday did you dress up as today? Um, quite clearly, Christmas. Christmas. I'm Halloween. Halloween. Nigerian Independence Day. Fourth of July. Christmas. Christmas. Halloween. Hanukkah. Columbus Day. It's my birthday. And why did you guys pick this holiday? I live in America, and I love America. Well, it's when a lot of my family comes to town. I love candy. It's just a good holiday. I just enjoy going out and dressing up, you know? I'm Nigerian, and uh, our Independence Day is on October 1st, so. Um, I really like scary things and costumes. I think they're really cool. What do you guys want for Christmas? You! Yeah. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.
Enjoy crocheting! Ho, ho, ho! What is photography? Photography is the art or practice of taking and processing photographs. There are many aspects that goes into taking a photo. There are settings such as ISO, shutter speed, and aperture that makes a difference in what the viewer feels when looking at a photo. ISO is your camera sensitivity to light as it pertains to either film or a digital sensor. A lower ISO value means less sensitivity to light, while a higher ISO means more sensitivity. Aperture refers to the opening of a lens diaphragm through which light passes. It is calibrated in F slash stops and is generally written as a number such as 1.4 to 2.8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, and 16. Shutter speed is a speed at which the shutter of the camera closes. A fast shutter speed creates a shorter exposure, the amount of light the camera takes in. A slow shutter speed gives the photographer a longer exposure. Oh hey, I was out and about in the hallways today and I noticed that there were some Barbies that were bungee jumping. Let's go take a look. Let's go be nosy. Make another one. All right. Go. Now try again. That wasn't good. Go whenever. <laughs> we were tasked with using previously collected data to create a least squares regression line equation, also known as a line of best fit, that would allow us to predict how many rubber bands we could use to safely allow Barbie to bungee jump while still allowing her to come close to the ground. Yeah, ours is like just added. Yeah, yours, yours, is a, yours is a little short. I wonder what the... Yeah, it would be interesting to compare your equation to their equation. Yeah. And see, like, <laughs> where, where things were different. Barbie hit her head a lot. How many rubber bands did we use? Us. How many did we use? Try one more time. Okay. One more time. It's like lower than four. Okay. <laughs> how many rubber... You said how many rubber bands did you guys use? 40. 40? Yeah. And you used 34. Okay. Yep. But you know what? At least it works. Yeah. Don't hit me with. Can you tell us what you guys are working on today? Um, in AP statistics, we're doing some linear regression, which is the fancy word for the line of best fit. And we, at the beginning of the unit, we predicted how many rubber bands it would take for Barbie to bungee jump in the atrium and have the most fun possible. And it looks like a lot of our groups were very successful. She got very close to the ground and didn't get decapitated. Wow, watching those Barbies bungee jump, that was amazing. I thought one of them was going to land on my head. Good job, Miss King and her AP stat class. Way to go, Bears. Hey Bears, I'm Amaya. Hey Bears, I'm Doug. And today we're going to be asking students trick questions. What's your name? Marlena Booker. What is the Earth's largest ocean? The Earth's largest ocean? I don't know the answer to that question, so I'm going to take a guess. The Pacific Ocean? Yeah, that's right. What? I guessed it right? <laughs> I'm so excited. Yay. What's your name? My name is Madison. What goes up but never comes down? Do I have time to think? Yeah. Okay. Gravity. Let's try again. That's right? No. Oh, try again. Oh, the sun. This page. The sun goes down. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, what's your name? Zamaya. CJ. Kendall. What are the primary colors? Blue, red, and uh, yellow. Yellow. Or, I mean, right? Yeah, blue, red, yellow. Okay, what do you call an animal that can live on land and the water? A how, 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 how. A, oh. a sea. Um, Carnivore. Uh, no, that is uh, just me. Uh, oh, no, uh, is they, just, a uh, mammal. Uh, no, uh, it's a mammal. A, what is it called? A human. A sea something. A seagull? No, a seal. A right. seal, right? No, no, isn't that the same? no it's a, a, a mammal. Y'all can give them a try. Hybrid. A polar bear? <laughs> it's an amphibian. It's a, 
Uh, no, that's the answer. Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Nina Solomon. John's mother had three children. The first child was named April. The second child was named May. What was the third child's name? What's the question? <laughs> John's mother had three children. The first child was named April. The second child was named May. What was the third child's name? March? June. Oh, that wasn't a trick question? It is a trick question. June? That's your final answer? It's John. You said oh, John's mother. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Corey. I'm Maya. What's the last three letters of the alphabet? X, Y, and Z. No. What? What? Okay. Um. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> last three letters? Of alphabet. X, Y, and Z. Right. Last three letters of alphabet. B, E, T. <laughs> okay, that's right, right. How is that right? <laughs> I'm Sophia, and if you could spell out your name. I'm Mr. Owens. And what is music tech class? Music tech class is just kind of helping students learn how to uh, create music using the computer software and the recording engineering aspect, everything's like that. Basically, letting them find their voice through music, even if they don't have any other ways to do it. And why did you decide to create this class? Well, actually, it's a class already created by Gwinnett County in the state of Georgia, but I went full time with it because it gave me an opportunity to work with students who aren't always involved in music, especially band, course, orchestra, or anything else like that, to just give them a way to express themselves, again, through music. Yeah, yeah totally. What's your name? My name is Anna Parker. And what is it that you're working on? I am currently working on a beat to get more experienced with music tech. Why did you pick this class? I picked this class to express myself and to show how I contribute with music to get like the best beat to create music for myself and to inspire others to create music too. And your name is Autumn. Did you decide to pick this class? Because it was like I like to do music and make music and it's like a really fun passion that I have. What is your favorite project you've made in this class? It was probably the ringtone project that we did earlier. It was, I think it was probably a great start that we did. And why did you decide to leave being a band teacher and start being a music tech teacher? I just wanted to kind of work with a different style of student because in band, I saw the students from sixth grade all the way up till their senior year if they stuck with it. And this just allows me to get a chance to work with students who aren't your typical um, music student. They still enjoy and want to do music, so let's do it. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, here are some quick facts. National Hispanic Heritage Month begins on September 15th because it coincides with the National Independence Days for many Latin American countries, including Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Mexico's National Independence Day falls on the 16th, while Chile's occurs on the 18th, and Belize's is on the 21st. Did you know that it originally began as a week-long celebration until President H.W. Bush declared it a 31-day period? And another fun fact, Americans of Mexican origin account for nearly 62%, that is 37.2 million people of the nation's overall Hispanic population as of 2019. And the second largest group being Americans of Puerto Rican origin with 5.8 million people. I love the representation. <laughs> If you didn't know, Hispanic Heritage Month ends tomorrow, so make sure you give your Hispanic friends some money before tomorrow or you suck. I don't have money. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you have it. Well, Bears, this concludes our episode of The View. If you would like to submit announcements to be aired on our bi-weekly show, please use the QR code to do so. See you next time. Take care of yourself until then, and as you go about your day, always remember, life is like a stage, and someone is always watching. Stay excellent, Mountain View.